Hello oh guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a guide to events and the first thing that came to mind when writing this is what should I bring to a tournament? If you haven't been to a lot of tournaments then it might be overwhelming, you might want to bring more things than you need, you might bring less things than you actually need. So I decided to make a guide on what I bring when I go to tournaments, when I go play in tournaments and uh, I think you should too. So first and foremost, we're gonna bring stuff that we're gonna need to play the game. Uh, the most important thing to bring is of course your deck box. I'm using this Ultimate Guard deck box. I'm not sponsored in any way, but I like it a lot. It can hold all my cards. It uh, even accommodates if I play a 60 card deck, if I play a 40 card deck, if I want to double sleeve, if I don't want to do that, it doesn't matter my cards will fit in the deck box. The cool thing is uh, it has two compartments where I can use one for my main deck and one for my uh, extra deck and my side deck. And in between there's a small compartment for the dice, which are also very important and you should also bring. So for your deck box, there are a few important things that you need to take into account. The first thing is that when you are uh, going to a tournament and you have cards in your deck box, uh, the cards in your deck box should be on your deck list uh, and there should no, not be any other cards in your deck box. So let's say for example you get your entry packs or you get uh, whatever other packs you decide to buy some packs at the vendors. That's okay, that's perfectly fine, just don't keep them in your deck box you're using to play the game. Why is that? Because when you uh, when you're doing well or whenever you have a deck check at a tournament and the judges find that you have cards in your deck box that should not be there, that are not on your deck list, you'll get a penalty for that and you don't want that. So your deck box, very important, only keep the cards in there you are intending to play uh, that are on your deck list and nothing else except for dice. Okay, so besides that, the thing you need is a playmat. I'm obviously using my Panda playmat when going to events. It's, yeah, it's just a standard playmat, but it's, it looks very nice. It's very important to bring one to protect your cards, to not keep them sliding over the tables. Tables might be dirty and to, to keep them a bit safer, you can use the playmat to well, help. Uh, I already said it when talking about the deck box, but it's also very important to use dice and to bring dice. These dice are usually used for deciding who goes first, usually with a high roll or whatever you discuss with your opponent. As long as you're both fine on deciding who goes first, on um, which method is used, then it doesn't matter what you do. But I personally like to use dice and usually that's with a high roll with two dice. During tournaments, especially during, during these rather complicated formats, um, it's important to keep track of a couple of things. It's important to keep track of your life points, of your opponent's life points. It's important to keep track of activated effects. For example, the tournament names are important uh, effects to keep track of, since it might get confusing if you don't, especially when you're playing the mirror. So it's also, also always very important to bring pen and paper. For life points, you can also use the Norhan app, which I found rather nice, but also very, very draining on my phone. Even with a somewhat newer phone, the app just drains your, your battery and you don't want that. What else is important? Well, advice for me when allowed. I know some uh, North American tournaments are not allowing it right now, but it's very important to bring uh, water and a snack because especially when you're going to a YCS or to another very long event well it already suggested that those events are long they take a long time to complete and they are draining so bring enough food bring enough water make sure you hydrate throughout the tournament and make sure you are you have eaten enough and you are well rested besides that and a personal preference of mine is to bring deodorant you don't want to smell. Technically, you couldn't. You you are not even allowed to to smell during a tournament, as that may also result in penalties. But but just just take a shower before the event and bring a deodorant when going. That's very important. A a final touch I'd like to add to my um, to my bag is this bottle of this disinfectant, which keeps my uh, hands clean. 
especially since I'm touching a lot of people's cards. You're always shuffling or whatever, and you just want to keep your hands clean in between. You can't always go to the bathroom in between rounds to wash your hands. So I'm using this to keep them clean and keep them nice and whatever. Yeah, and those are the most important things to bring. You can also bring a binder for trade cards, but if you're planning on playing events, I wouldn't recommend it since there is a slight chance that they might get stolen, which is obviously something you don't want. So yeah, that's the first episode of an idiot's guide to events. We've talked about what you should bring. Uh, if you have anything you want to see during these guides, during these things, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Like the video and I'll see you next time.